Hello, welcome to Paper Daisy Journals, it's Kylie. This video is a flip through of my very first Christmas journal. And I am pretty pleased with how it's actually turned out. Um, I am a little surprised and there were a couple of failed attempts, but I got there in the end and I'm probably enthusiastic enough to make a couple more. So <laughs> that's pretty exciting when you get to that point. Um, and it's a little A6 size journal. So it's 11 centimeters or four and a quarter inches by 15 centimeters or six inches. And it also has a five centimeter or a two inch spine. On the front, I have this gorgeous vintage button that I have sewn on and a couple of um, pieces of crocheted tablecloth. Um, the sort of the medallions that you can cut out, the little flowers. This is beautiful vintage fabric. Um, it is quite a rich red. So I'm not sure if that's picking up um, the colour terribly well. But there is a little bit of pink <laughs> through it, which um, is a bit of a given with me. That is the spine. So there are four signatures with um, 80 pages in total. And that is a little piece of ribbon work, a little rosette that I have stuck on there. And that is the back. So it is one piece of fabric all the way around, but the journal is in three parts. So um, the spine is one piece of cardboard and the covers are two. So they are flexible, um, but I would consider this to be a hardcover journal. I've closed it with um, a fairly long ribbon, so there is... Um, room to expand in the journal and as you can see it's not bulging open I have purposefully not filled it with um, ephemera because as a Christmas journal or a December daily I would assume you would put a lot of photos maybe gift tags cards um, possibly even postcards from friends and family and given that um, Christmas is a bit different this year, uh, there might be a lot of collaging that would be going into this journal. So I did take that into account. There is, however, as you'll see, um, a number of handmade pieces of ephemera. So this is the inside of the journal. And I'm a bit excited because this beautiful marbled paper was done by hand by my friend Louise um, in Tasmania, Marindla Marbling. I always, I definitely pronounce it wrong, <laughs> but I will put the link to Louise's Etsy shop in the description box because I just absolutely love um, all of the marbled papers, but Louise was very open to doing a custom order because my journals um, tend to be a bit on the smaller side and um, I sort of wanted particular colours and smaller patterns. Um, but Louise can pretty much do anything. I'm an amazing artist. So I'll just take that card out so you can see um, the marbling a little bit more and just, yeah, beautiful colours, beautiful combinations. Um, that's a stamp tag. With all the reds on it and space to journal on the back and this pocket here is vintage wallpaper um, trim with a little bow stuck on this is an antique postcard that I have stitched on and that is actually a fairly big pocket there this is all coffee stained paper and a tea stained ledger so I have left space to journal. That's not the only space. <laughs> there, are other, there are other pages. Um, this is a beautiful piece of Swiss lace. And I have actually sewn that in as 
a page in the signature but it's something that you could um, easily stick something on or staple it so um, or just have it as a beautiful part of the journal a piece of sari trim and that is a little beaded dangle there there's a couple in the journal and that little heart bead is actually vintage glass and um, absolutely gorgeous little red heart reminds me of the queen of hearts in um, Alice in Wonderland and I have included some uh, book pages so they're little pockets that you can pop things in these are um, some beads on the signature strings and they're um, glass so they make a lovely sound and they actually look like berries when I um, first put it together you could see them just sort of dripping out the bottom there through the lace and I just thought they looked like little berries little Christmas berries and they were so so cute um, so I've got some of those included this is vintage wrapping paper Christmas wrapping paper and that is a tuck spot up there the other side of that beautiful um, Swiss lace and that is actually a red and white check and it also has um, a green grey white and cream blossom at the bottom this is a hand embroidered um, patch on a postcard size flip out so you have journaling space underneath and on the back um, but you can see that I have hand stitched that on. It is technically a snowflake pattern, um, but I've done it in the red and green so it looks like a Christmas blossom, snowflake blossom. I'm not sure where I was going with doing this, but um, it's very unique. <laughs> and I just think it looks really pretty. So <laughs> that's how that happened. <laughs> Um, a little ruffle with Christmas fabric up the top and another one of those beautiful beaded dangles with the heart bead on it. Into the next signature. This was actually a vintage shelf, um, embroidered shelf decoration. Uh, they typically sit on mantelpieces in kitchens and um, lounge rooms and this obviously would have been in the kitchen because they're little cherries that have been hand embroidered on there and I have just snipped off a part of the length and turned it into a pocket and there's a little bit of um, a ribbon worked rose that is a collaged journal tag with some space on the back and that is a German um, die cut of Santa Claus vintage wallpaper Italian wrapping paper a doily I just sort of put the doilies on because it reminded me probably of snow there's that's probably the only reference to snow in this journal because in Australia we actually don't have snow at Christmas we have 40 degree heat at 9 a.m. so <laughs> it's a very different scenario for us but you know Santa looks funny in um, thongs and shorts and a singlet <laughs> uh, but that is sort of yeah at least we've got a little bit of Santa and snow in this journal because <laughs> it may not end up living in Australia you just never know uh, an Edith Holden book page with a tuck spot there doily because you know you always eat you overeat every Christmas or festive season um, so I just put that in as the ode to overeating. This is a little vintage button on um, some crochet and this is French trim that you would find on a lampshade actually but I thought it was a really nice sort of ruffle down the side of um, the page. Some more of that ledger. This is that wrapping paper, the vintage wrapping paper which is just really it had all these um, cross stitch sort of images on there and I just loved it. So I've turned them into little tuck spots on both sides there. And that's the other side of that. 
This is an original um, library card and I've just put a ruffle with vintage fabric on it but it's also a big tuck spot as well. So with it being a small journal I've tried to sort of make the tuck spots a little bit bigger so you can store as much as a big journal inside. Another tuck spot. Um, this is some um, Battenberg and it's in a leaf pattern which I thought was tied in well with the Christmas theme and that's also a tuck spot. It is a bit loose so you can actually fit quite a bit in there but because it's reasonably deep and I haven't actually sewn it at the back there so it's sort of a belly band but it's up against the side of the signature you can fit quite a bit in there. And this is a first day envelope, um, first day issue envelope from the 1960s, I think. And that's actually a silk patch of a cardinal bird, which is typically um, part of the whole Christmas scene. And I was wondering where this watercolour tag went because I was doing the watercolours on the tags. That one's blank. I finally found it. <laughs> this is the one that's actually meant to go in a journal. So I'll put that in now. I looked everywhere for that because I just really didn't want to have to cut another one with the die cut machine. Um, so now I found it. I obviously thought I would put it once I'd painted on it, I'd put it in the journal. So that is um, the berries. I have um, painted that myself in watercolour and just added a little ribbon at the top and a little ruffle at the bottom. But plenty of space to journal on the back. Or you could actually use that as a gift card if you wished. So that just tucks in there. Looks much better than a boring blank one. <laughs> And a little lace pattern on the paper there. This is um, some graph paper that I have tea stained. Some more of that gorgeous lace. I did buy a fair amount of it <laughs> because I loved it, but um, not really sort of fitting in with my shabby chic theme. So that's actually why I've done these Christmas journals. I I had um, a fair amount of sort of red coloured bits and pieces um, because sometimes when you buy antique fabric in a bundle um, you don't love every single piece but you know it's not um, easy to sort of just throw it out so you tend to put it to the side and I've used a lot of that in these journals. That's a little bit of the fabric that's on the front of the journal as a fabric tab some music paper and their tuck spots as well and these are some beads some glass beads and I thought that one actually looked like a little cherry and that is a sort of it's a faceted glass bead so they dangle down the bottom there a fabric ruffle and that's this is the most adorable little glass vintage bead it has tiny little flowers and I hope you can actually see them um, so I've uh, included one of those that's the other side of that beautiful Swiss lace and as you can see there's quite a bit of journaling space that's a tuck spot um, this was actually a, a little um, it's from Sweden, it's vintage, and it was a little window um, runner. So I um, just adore the, the Baltic cultures. Um, some of my heritage is Latvian. Um, but when I went to Iceland, they have all of these little displays in their windows that they can't necessarily see from the inside because they're, they um, usually have insulating sort of curtains but it's for other people to appreciate and they often have these um, there are specific sized little runner fabric runner that um, they put displays on so um, that's actually one of those that I have cut into pieces it's also for um, a mantelpiece as well 
um, seasonal sort of ones like that would be. And so I have, I did go through a little phase of collecting those because Iceland, you know, it's a magical place. Um, if you believe in elves and fairies, you definitely need to go to Iceland because they legitimately believe in elves and fairies. And they build little houses for them in their gardens. And it's just, it's absolutely adorable. I loved it. It was one of, I've always wanted to go there from the age of eight. And I was so lucky to be able to do that. Um, this is a piece of antique fabric. And I've just put a little um, ribbon rose on there. And another one of those collaged tags with the, the Victorian scrap. On the back and more doily because there's always more eating at <laughs> Christmas um, and that's a beautiful piece of antique fabric there is going to be a little bit of fraying um, with these pieces and I really should not have pulled on those <laughs> I will cut them off <laughs> um, there will be a little bit of fraying um, but that just adds to the sort of feel of the journal um, and that's a little charm there with a clock to um, indicate the passing of time or that it is Christmas time, um, which is a, a, an exciting time for a lot of people. And, oops, it's a bit tangled. Uh, some music paper there. This is some beautiful Italian wrapping paper. Um, and it's all about Christmas recipes and little children cooking and things like that which I think thought was really beautiful so I've just put that in the middle of the signature with some tuck spots and the other side a little snippet of a uh, Christmassy doily that I've stitched on there for something different and in the back here, I actually managed to find in my stash red paper clips. I'm not sure how old they are, but I have, I did actually purchase them in my lifetime. So <laughs> they could be vintage. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a bit fun. And this is a, um, a tag with some lace that I've sewn on some, this is actually Christmas music paper from the from 1910 um, and I've used that on all of the handmade ephemera it was too fragile to actually sew into the signature so I've actually just included it on the tags and cards in the journal and so even the Christmas um, ephemera is Christmas Christmassy <laughs> and that's just a little original seed packet label I've tucked in there because it sort of had the right colors and that's a little cluster on there with some um, beads hanging down. But that was really cute, so I just tucked that onto there. And in the back here, another piece of that beautiful vintage wallpaper. And this is an original um, luggage tag from France with an original Victorian scrap. They are quite delicate, so um, just be careful, little bits can come off. And that's the back. It's a very deep red colour and again there's some of Louise's beautiful marbled paper and I've just tucked that in there. So that is um, my little Christmas journal. You can see it is, there, there's a quite a bit in it um, but there's still a fair amount of space to expand into it. Um, plenty of pages if you wanted to do a December daily. Um, which is kind of fun when you are planning all of your meals and gifts and what's going on on that particular day. Um, hopefully Christmas can be a joyous time um, for everyone. Um, and if it can't, then let's hopefully look forward to a more normal Christmas next year. Okay, thank you for watching um, and take care. Bye now.